Let's change this white rose color to blue color with me. I'm going to be using Dip It solution. And this is a lake blue color. So let's start. I'm going to start pulling the color into this vase. Normally I do it outside. I don't do it indoor. I have two types of white rose. One is Verdella. And this have a little bit of blush inside. And the second one, this one is the white chocolate. It's completely white and it has a tiny bit of yellow in the center. So first of all, I'm going to dip the, this flower in the blue color. And because I want the color to be darker blue, but I don't have a darker blue color, so I'm going to have to do it a couple more times. Normally, if you buy the exactly color that you want, you just have to dip it in and take it out. Leave it for a few seconds and take it out. But I have to do it like try to make it darker. And it's going to turn out great. So after you dip in the color, you have to shake it for all the color to come out. And then you leave it out for a little bit so the color, the color will absorb in the rose petal. And then after that, you will have to um, rinse it in water. Just regular water. So I'm using this clear vase so it's easy for you to see. Normally I will do it in the black bucket so it won't uh, stand the color. But it, I think it could be easy for you to see when I'm doing it in this clear vase. So when you're doing this, you want to have the rose open a little bit, um, all, all the way open because if it's tight and the water, I mean the, the dye or color will not go inside. So when you arrange this, uh, next day when the rose open, then it's going to become white color inside. So make sure the rose that you do or any kind of flowers will be open before you dip in the color. I already done with one. I'm going to continue and again I'm going to separate out the devil rose and also the white chocolate rose so later on we will know which one will take the color better. Um, so this one is Verdella. Uh, it's open really big. This one is 60 centimeter roses so the head is huge. It's not small like when you using the 40 centimeter. So when I'm doing bouquet or lush arrangement, I always want to use the longer stem roses because it will provide me the larger head and it will cover more space. So the trick, if you want the light, even lighter blue than this, then you should try to uh, mix with more color. So I just dip it in the water to rinse out the, um, the dye. Now you can see it's become very light blue color, but it's very nice too. But um, for this particular client, uh, they require it to be a little bit darker blue. So I'm probably going to have to dip it a few more times to get a darker shade of blue. And because I want to make um, different shade, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little bit darker blue and then a little bit lighter shade just to give it a different uh, different variety so that's how you rinse the flower in water um, make sure when you rinse it in you have to shake all the water out because if you don't shake the water out and you put the flower inside the cooler it's gonna become moldy or it's gonna turn into brown so I'm gonna speed up the process and I'm gonna try to get this finished and I will show you at the end
so I finished dipping in the color and now I'm gonna rinse with the water and as you can see the water turned into blue color too So this is how the vanilla rose look like. It takes up the color very well. You can see it's beautiful and even now. Uh, on the other hand, the white chocolate did not take the color in well. It's very light blue color and it's still shown some white spot. So I would say it's better to use vanilla than white chocolate roses. But overall everything looks beautiful. And I just love it. I'm gonna keep it out a little bit for it to dry before I put in the cooler. Thank you for watching and let me know how you like this blue rose.